then just like that and now it's easy to access this uh, clamp without the air filter then I think there there's a hose that needs to be removed so there's one more connection this hose that needs to be removed in these bolts using a 5mm allen key there pull this up now there it is the front top valve cover that I need to open up there's one here and one at the back actually there's four valve cover that I need to open up but this uh, two are my axis on the top Make sure to remove all the chrome cover of those uh, cylinders. So now we're going to open this cam cover at the front cylinder head. So first I'm gonna work on this uh, front cylinder and after all the adjustments then I will proceed to the rear cylinder that it will drip some oil there so I'm going to open the the two cover at this side I'm going to use this and then this the o-ring so when adjusting a valve clearance it should be on a cold engine and the intake valve it should be on 0 0.07 or 0.12 mm and at the exhaust valve it should be 0.12 to 0.17 mm so the top one is the intake valve and the one that close to the exhaust is the exhaust valve cover so I'm going to open those two and check the measurement so I'm going to open this top valve cover using a 5 mm Tap this a little bit to loosen up. So this is the top cover. O-ring seal is good. 
Now, this part, the very front exhaust valve cover. So I did put a paper towel. Everything is good. So that's the exhaust valve, and this is the top. So, what I'm going to do is to align this hole or marker here, and while that is aligned, the marker here should be aligned too by turning this bolt so I'm using a 22 mm to there so make sure to turn this clockwise slowly until you see the marker and then make sure to check on the other side of the front cylinder to see the marker also that it is on the right spot So the marker here is at the right spot, as you can see, and here the marker also is at the right spot. So let's see how loose or tight the valve is before I adjust. But here, it's perfect. That's perfect. So the valve intake or intake valve should be 0.7 to 0.12 mm. And I'm trying to use a 0.10 mm. And 0.10 mm is no go. So I will try to use a thinner one which is 8mm and let's see if it's gonna go through and still no go, still tight. So I'm gonna go and try this 0.6mm and let's see if it's this one is perfectly fit. So the measurement is 0.6 mm. It's supposed to be between 0.7 and 0.12 mm. So I use my 0.10 mm gauge to measure the valve clearance. Yes, 0.10 mm. Then all you have to do is turn the Allen key counterclockwise to uh, adjust the the clearance, the tightness or or loosen it by turning clockwise. And then once you got the perfect measure that you want, you can tighten this bolt by turning clockwise. And now my gauge that is point. 10 mm there's a bite a little bit of a bite which is good so I'm going to tighten up I think it's 20 feet down of torque yeah 
So that's it. Ito naman. Let me try again the tanaman. Tanaman. Yeah. It's perfect and then. Now it's time to adjust the front uh, exhaust valve. So I'm still at the front cylinder head. So here, the exhaust valve should be 0.12 to 0.17 mm and I'm gonna go for 0.15 mm and I'll try this that's a bit tight so that's fine that's perfect I'm going to loosen up this Let's start. Now I want the clearance to be at exactly 0.15 mm. So to adjust the clearance, all I need is to turn the Allen key counterclockwise or clockwise to loosen it up or counterclockwise to tighten it up. Then the bolts that hold that uh, adjustment all i need is to turn that to lock there's a bit of drug and obviously that is tight 0.15 mm it's perfect and a 20 foot pound of torque to tighten and lock the bolt and there's a little bit of a bite which is perfect so 0.15 mm now time to clean and return back the cover or covers one here and one on the top of this valve 